fall. Right now, this is all chunky and not flat. I want to get flat. Pounding it all nice and smooth and then into like a, a potato or egg shape. And then I just set that roundness there on the center and gave it a little smack. Get my hands wet. And at first, I'm just going to push down on its head to get it stuck so it'll fly off. So I push down and then I'm going to slide. I'll move this hand. But I really want this hand for the support. But let me move this hand so you can see how it just slides down the side. So it's grippy. And it's really hard to do with one hand. Slide down the side and then get that sealed at the edge so water doesn't want to seep in that. So now it's kicking me around, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take this hand and I'm going to just gently push up against. And it's getting a little sticky, so I'm going to get it wet and just hold them steady. And now it's bumping around less. Okay, and now I'm going to cone up, which is now this wrist and my hands are going upwards. So you kind of end up in prayer position, like so, where they just go up. But uh, And then another thing I've been kind of liking to do, too, when I do this is... Just because I, I've been having issues with my left thumb, I'll put a little bit of pressure with these two fingers on this side and slide up. And that really helps to grab more of this clay at the base with those fingers that push up. It's not crucial to do learn right away, but I I, I just I saw, saw a video pretty recently of a guy doing that and I was like, oh, that's gonna help my thumb that's having issues okay and again with the speed I'm full throttle but if that's just too gnarly just back off a little bit and get to this point where it, it feels comfortable with the speed okay now I'm going to compress back down so when I compress back down the center of the clay I want to be ever so slightly to the left of center so here's center and my pressure is going to be just just slightly off center. And if I compress down right now and end up getting that, that tells me I'm too far from center. I don't want to end up with getting a, 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 a nipple at the top. I want to just ever so slightly be off center. And again, you find that vortex and it just makes it super easy to just push on down. And right now it's wobbly, right? Don't worry about the wobble. Just move forward and slide in the hands down to the side. Now I've got my dome again. Now I'm going to cone up again. And I can just push that pressure up against with my elbows and my body and cone up. And then if I want to grab more of that clay at the base using these fingers to get that into the, the cone. Okay, back in the cone. And this whole time, every time I cone up and compress back down into a dome, it's it's centering the clay. So I'm pushing just left to center again. And what I'm noticing is I'm feeling bubbles popping under my hands here. Mm -hmm. Because remember, I, I didn't wedge this first. And that's really important to make sure it was a used piece of clay mm -hmm. that I just put on here. So it's being extra challenging to center. Okay, and then I go back up into prayer position. And now let's see if that third time does it. Just stay nice and consistently with my pressure, nice and steady. It's getting sticky, getting slightly wet. Pushing down with this part of my hand, just left of center, supporting with this hand. This hand's just guiding downwards with the clay. It's not doing a whole much other than supporting my right hand that's doing most of the work. And then I'm going to slide down the side and make my dome. And I just close my eyes, and if it feels centered, I'm going to center it. I mean, I'm going to start making a, a form. But right now, you can see my hands are wobbling still. So i got to address that wobble before I start making something. So I'm just going to hold the pressure steady. 
and now feel and go, oh yeah, now we're centered. Okay. And now I'm ready to make something.